<laughs> well, hello everybody. Uh, so I've just come back from seeing uh, Solo, a Star Wars story, and uh, it wasn't too bad. It was okay. Um, certainly don't regret seeing it. Um, was it a good movie though? Mm, it was okay, I guess. I know it's certainly better than uh, The Last Jedi. It worked fairly well for me. Um, I don't know as much about Star Wars outside of the movies as uh, some hardcore Star Wars fans, but I'd say that uh, it certainly worked for me. It was okay. I was a bit surprised though, um, there may be a bit of a spoiler here for you, but I was surprised at uh, how they managed to uh, shoehorn in a character from the uh, prequels and also who later appeared in the uh, uh, the Clone Wars animated series. Um, why they did that, I'm not sure they needed to do that, but uh, they did it, there it is. Either they're trying to tie it in with uh, Star Wars Rebels and uh, uh, possibly mainly the Rebels, which is probably the only reason they could bring in this particular character, uh, who we thought was long dead but isn't dead, who we thought died in the prequels but then didn't die because something happened and it was uh, kept alive. Anyway, it's, it's complicated. Uh, like Star Wars is getting that is, but um, there's been a lot of call from uh, some hardcore Star Wars fans not to see this film. Um, or at least those few that I've seen on on the YouTube, for example, on here on this platform, have decided that they're not going to see it, and uh, they'd rather you didn't see it. But uh, they're not telling you not to see it. They're just saying they're not going to see it. So, uh, but I decided I was going to see it anyway because I like the Star Wars films. Uh, well, apart from uh, the Last Jedi, that was a bit pants. But uh, this film wasn't too bad. You yeah, know, I've said that twice already, haven't I? Should you go and see it? Yeah, why not? Yeah, if you got a few pounds to spare, if you got to, uh, about two and a half hours to kill, then uh, why not? Or you could uh, save yourself a bit of money and wait until the Blu-ray or DVD comes out. And, when, and then when that does come out, then wait a, uh, another couple of weeks, you know, be patient. Wait another couple of weeks and then go to uh, CEX or somewhere that sells second-hand DVDs and Blu-rays and get it from there. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so the, I, I probably will be buying the uh, Blu-ray, but I think I'll wait until it's available second-hand. Because uh, I've seen uh, dozens of uh, uh, The Last Jedi Blu-ray second-hand <laughs> already, so at uh, not that much cheaper than the brand new one, surprisingly enough. So I think they're going to stay in that shop for quite a while. But uh, anyway, that's me talking about Star Wars. Last, uh, not Last Jedi. I'm not going to talk about that. That's me talking about uh, Solo, a Star Wars story, and um, an okay movie. Not one of, um, um, who's the director now, what's his name, or the new director who was brought in after the original directors were fired. Um, yeah, not one of his best films, but uh, an okay film. Not brilliant, nothing special, it's not going to win any awards, let's face it. Um, yeah. Anyway, take care everybody. Uh, let me know what you thought of it, if you saw it, and what you didn't think of it, if you didn't see it. Wait. Uh